like your um your sparkly background. <laughs> Thank you. It's chaos in here, but it's the way I like it. You look so beautiful. Oh my god. I wanted to deep dive into Marin a little bit since you have such a beautiful and intelligent understanding of this character. Um, there's a part towards the middle of the film where she starts questioning whether her and Lee are bad people, how she's going to live the rest of her life like this, etc. What do you think of this in this moment specifically? Do you see a character that we should sympathize with, that you personally sympathize with, and what are your thoughts on who she really is? Um, well, what... With that question, the first thing that comes to my mind is, you know, the um, is is youth and how brutal it can be to, to just be born into the world and grow up in such a confusing landscape. Um, uh, I think you know, most people feel that way growing up and probably throughout their adulthood. I mean, I definitely. Um, definitely feel that still in some capacity and um, and I think you know at times life can feel like it's super short and things just go by and other times it can feel so long and both things are true um, at the same time which is you know the the magic of time and 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 having the experience that we're having um, but you know the the pain the growing pains that these two people are going through I I definitely sympathize and, and empathize with because I think a lot of people um, uh, feel that way when they're when they're you know growing up. You described playing a cannibal as sort of a physical release, and you just tapped a bit up on the differences of being that and then simply being a human. Can you elaborate a bit more on what that process was like for you? Because that's an extremely interesting way of looking at it. Yeah, I I didn't necessarily know that I would. F I didn't know actually that I would feel that way at all. Um, thinking about it now, I did feel like some sort of um, uh, comfort in that I was worrying ab about the emotional story a lot, which is, you know, the the heavy the heavy weight that you carry um, as an actor. Although it, I say that relatively to the heavy weight of everything else in the world, but um, but I knew that the physical element of it. Um, was something that was going to be walked through with me when I was on set um, with you know my fellow actors so there was some sort of you know letting go that I could have uh, which is what I mean by the physical release is that I, I there was something that I almost didn't have to worry about when there was so many other things that I was worried about um, which uh, was was useful and, and really nice. That's so beautiful. Switching a bit from Marin to you, I'm with the rest of the entire world right now when I say that your fashion and your style lately has absolutely blown me away. Um, what have been your inspirations for these insane and beautiful looks on this um, Bones and All press tour? And what would you say that your style says about you? Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I'm having so much fun right now, I have to say. Uh, I really wanted to feel like, you know, that in a way that I was, I wanted to pay homage to Marin, of course, I'm dressed very different than Marin, <laughs> Marin is dressed, but I, you know, am thinking about, about her and I wanted to have a, a through line throughout everything and really just, you know, g use my mood and how I'm feeling to express myself and that's the, the fun part of fashion is that it's, you know, not the serious thing, it's like, made by all these wonderful craftsmen and feels very intentional but you can have so much fun with it um i am also super lucky that i've been able to wear a lot of the things that i've been able to wear and i'm working with an incredible stylist named ryan hastings who's become a family member to me um and we just are like two little kids when we you know are thinking about oh can we do this and we're just sending each other photos all the time like of archival looks and you know um of you know the runways that are coming out currently and thinking like okay what can we do here what can we do here and uh, so i'm having i'm having so much so much fun it's it's fashion is so inspiring. Yeah. It is especially yours. You deserve to have all the fun. Taylor, it's always such a pleasure. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So lovely to meet you and talk to you and thanks for your questions. Of course, thank you. You're the best. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Hi Luca, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So nice to see you. Nice to so see you. 
So in this film, you're tasked with combining some rather grotesque and intense storylines and this very beautiful, very vulnerable coming-of-age love story. Um, obviously, it's quite the contrast. How did you go about creating this balance specifically, and what were your inspirations within that? I think uh, the characters and the script, they've been my inspiration. Like, the beauty of this journey that these characters go through, the necessity these characters look for uh, uh, finding one another in the case of one another. And I think, like, uh, even the most... Uh, uh, accomplished love story has a moment of heartbeat and a moment of contrast. And because it's a love story, you have this kind of roller coaster of emotions that comes with that. And they convey it to the interior, they convey it so beautifully. You feel like you're in the car with them. Now, the visuals in this film, they're amazing. They're very beautiful, they're very unique. And you mentioned being inspired by the photography of William Eggleston. Were there any other photographers or visual sources that inspired you? No, I think William Eggleston being such a great artist was enough, no? Don't you think so? Absolutely. You can tell. <laughs> um, you're working with a few actors in this film who you've worked with in the past. How does it feel to get to see people like Timothy and Chloe grow as actors through your own projects? I feel like I, am, I have the privilege of having a wonderful family of friends and artists that I want to share my life with forever. I love it. That's so sweet. Um, this story feels so humanistic, which is crazy considering the subject matter. Was it your intention for the film to feel this way? I think that the, the, every director, every, no, every, every storyteller should make sure that the story they tell is about uh, unjudgmental as possible and about making you be in a position that you have never been as an audience. How did you initially think that this project would resonate with audiences? Everyone's raving about it, it's very loved. What did you initially think that people were gonna take away from it? I didn't thought about anything like that because I am too much invested in making the movie. Once I started showing the movie around the world, I realized that there was a way in which this movie was connecting to audiences and that was quite touching. Taylor has such a beautiful understanding of the character of Marin. Um, what was it like to see her sort of figure out this character through her eyes, the way she resonated with it? Life-changing. Taylor was so invested in the character, and she was really looking into herself, in the depths of herself, for things for the character, that to see the generosity of that happening on, uh, every day on set was really heartbreaking. You have such a brilliant mind. It's an honor to witness everything you've created. What can we expect next on the Luca horizon? I am just uh, uh, finishing another movie that I made in America last uh, spring. It's called Challengers and stars the mighty and wonderful Zendaya. Obviously this movie is intense, but it's also really beautiful. What do you hope that when viewers go to see it, what do you hope they take away from it? I hope people understand that they have to really surrender to love. I think uh, the journey and being uh, daily surrounded by the people who made the movie and, and, and seeing how we all change throughout the process, this is, was fantastic to me. I love it. Luca, thank you so much for thank joining you. me today. It's an honor. This film is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. And to start us off, I want to talk about something you discussed that I found very, very interesting. Um, you discussed, which I love, is changing the gender in the carnival scene to eliminate any jealousy that Marin may have felt. Um, how do you think the lack of that jealousy and that, you know, almost sinisterness to it um, changes the connotation of the scene itself? Well, we, it's also, when you see the film, you'll realize it's juxtaposed with this really important moment for Marin, which is that she finishes listening to everything her father had to tell her on this cassette tape. And she chooses to do it with Lee, which is quite a vulnerable thing to do. And as she's saying goodbye to her father, he is with her in that moment. And so I thought that was a really intimate moment. And it was really one of the first times we see um, real understanding in their relationship. And you know, there's a scene coming 20 minutes later where Lee does the same thing back, which is sort of equally important to their, to their love for one another. And so it felt impossible at that point to then have a scene as it was written in the book where she would feel envious of his interactions with another woman and so I thought it was just more if more emotionally honest to take that away and just be with the two of them in the afterglow of this vulnerable moment um, and to see this you know what ends up being a, a murder <laughs> um, as a gift from Lee to her um, in a way in response to what she had just given him which was her trust. I think that the beauty, one of the biggest beauties in this film is the contrast and the 
vulnerability in it, but the way that, you know, scenes differ so much for you. They feel so young, they feel so old, they're sinister, it's beautiful, it's living. What I want to know is, did you find that in adapting this story, you had to create that balance between the horror and the coming of age to it? And what was that like? Well, horror means something very different in a visual medium than in a textual medium. And so, you know, because there is more visual disclosure of the violence, you will feel it. You will simply feel it more in the audience. And so, yes, I was very um, aware that this was going to be a difficult tone to land. Um, and I think you just have to decide very early that the best way you can do it is to trust the audience, um, to not give them markers of how they should feel about any one thing in the film, and trust that if you develop the characters in an open-handed way, that they will be received in an open-handed way. And so I think, um, sure, there are going to be people who watch the film and, and don't come closer to the characters. Um, but I think, I suspect that'll be the, the minority. I think because the, the caliber and the, and the depth of the performances and the way that the film simply refuses to judge them, I think an audience will feel encouraged to get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer to Marin and Lee. And then I think you start to forget you know, that they're, that they're cannibals and start to understand them as just being kids who are challenged with sort of mandates in their lives, you know, things their bodies need, things that they need, uh, and you start seeing them as just struggling like everyone struggles. <laughs> it's, it's a strange film in that sense. It sort of gives you these very um, aggressive metaphors and then we let them sort of peter out into, into empathy. I love that you said that because I truly think that, that is my favorite part of the film itself. Um, the way that they feel like humans. They it feels like such a humanistic movie. And if you had tuned into just one of the car scenes, you would have no idea what this no. movie was about. <laughs> no. no idea at all. Um, <laughs> you are fantastic. Congratulations on all the love and the buzz this movie's getting. Everyone loves it. I love it. Thank you so much Thank for joining me. Thank you so me today. much. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, guys.